Hey yo, so this right here is a teaser for a new feature for my patrons over at patreon.com slash oldculture. It's called Oldculture Raw. How original, right? But it is raw. These are unedited, unscripted, and unprepared conversations with new and former guests, friends, and foes alike. And when I say unedited, I mean it. No post-production whatsoever. They're recorded and uploaded within minutes. When I say unscripted and unprepared, I mean it. No notes. No questions prepared. Just raw, spontaneous conversations. This first episode was with former guest Ian Wilson, who was talking about having ultra-rare lucid precognitive dreams. We also talked a little bit about remote viewing and visiting the famed Monroe Institute. All this ties together. So again, just a short teaser here, but if you dig it, more like this coming in the future for $5 plus patrons at patreon.com slash occulture. Enjoy. The procedure for remote viewing um, wasn't attractive to me because, you know, I like... I like the full immersion when my body's asleep and I'm fully immersed in the dream state. Um, the idea of, you know, and, and I didn't, I didn't really strike a chord with me to want to sit and go into a focus state and do it while I'm sitting down and, and awake. But being in the Monroe Institute, not only are these focus states accessible when you sleep, but they're also teaching you how to access them when you're awake and in your body. And I found that to be really extraordinary. Um, and so now I have this new toolkit that I never had before to access these focus states um, without the need to shut my body completely down. I can shut my body down to maybe 80% relaxation instead of full immersive sleep and still start to get information. So um, that's going to be a whole new journey of mine to um, work with that with, as the time permits. So I will be definitely exploring um, accessing these states of consciousness while awake, which I, I found to be one of the greatest new avenues of exploration for me. So I definitely took home some new um, things to try that I didn't even consider. So, the, I mean, for the for the the idea of this trip, it was um, absolutely worth the money. I mean, I I didn't expect what I was going to get when I got there. Um, I thought maybe I already kind of maybe knew it all. I mean, I, I knew I didn't. I mean, we're talking about exploring something that's infinite, potentially infinite. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I have no regrets. It was, I, I, my big regret was that I took too long to get there. I should have went <laughs> yeah. sooner in my life. I don't know why I dragged my heels, but I'm kind of stubborn. I always want to kind of just do things myself and figure it out for myself. You know, I, I like that, um, turning over a stone and finding something new. You know, that self-discovery part of the journey also is extremely rewarding.